Okay, uh, I'm Emily, I'm a graphic designer and lettering artist, and we're doing a lettering piece today that involves food. When something's gonna go wrong, it will. The ingredients, uh, they'll move, they won't behave like you planned. Improvising. <laughs> improvising. There's a lot of improvising with uh, food lettering. So we have all our produce, we have our basil, we have mushrooms, we have garlic, we have green peppers, and our red onion, and we're ready. So we're making a pizza, and it's gonna have all these good toppings on it. So a letterer or a lettering artist is someone who draws letters. You have illustrators who will draw things. A letterer specifically draws letters. I can mix in a little bit of wordplay. I can mix in puns. You can make 3D, you can make 3D things as opposed to just working on screen. So food lettering in contrast to computerized digital work, there's, you're working with materials that only can be cut or placed or arranged in a particular way. Uh, when we decided to do a lettering piece today, I thought what's gonna work well, what's gonna look good for color, what's gonna be something accessible as a food that most people like, I think most people like pizza. <laughs> I hope so, I hope I haven't ruined pizza <laughs> for anybody. <laughs> Our dough is doing better now. We'll see if we can get it to stay in a nice round-ish circle, round-ish, so that we can start putting on our sauce. Spending that much time working on something to just kind of throw it away or eat it and make it disappear, I think it's really good for me. I think I tend to get really precious about stuff and I wanna make sure it's all very finished, um, very perfect. When you're working with food, it's kind of a one-shot deal, like this was a complete experiment. So like that's a good, if we need a little tight curve somewhere, we'll probably use it for the exit of the A. So some of them like this one might work better for the curve already, and then I won't have to just cut up little pieces to make the curve. I can use the ingredients as they are and kind of make use of the shapes that they're already naturally in. What happens when I'm done? Well, take a photo, say goodbye, sometimes stick a big like splatter, swoosh or whatever you want to do to get rid of it. But um, my favorite part about this whole thing is we created something fun that uh, involves play. We're gonna eat pizza later. Um, yeah. Coming from a design background, sometimes I think I have a hard time calling what I do necessarily art or calling myself an artist. Design definitely has a problem to solve. Art is definitely more of a, a subjective or a more personal or, you know, why you want to do something for the sake of doing it. So, I mean, I don't know who I was designing this for. <laughs> I guess I was just designing it for me, so that makes it art. Thank you.